This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle in becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100 page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below. And now please enjoy the video. What is up everyone? Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Guys, I have a really good story for you. I got some really good news to share for every single one of you. And I honestly can't believe I'm even making this video because literally, literally just over one week ago, I uploaded a video of me quitting a job that I moved across the country for. I knew that I had opportunities out there, but the fact that this new opportunity literally, I'm saying the word literally, literally a lot, this opportunity fell on my lap. The fact that this happened is mind boggling and mind blowing because this new job that I'm going to have, and yes, I have a new job, is literally, <laughs> my dream job. It is something that I personally never thought I'd be able to do. And it's something I never thought that would even happen in my life. This is crazy. And I want to share everything with you. Give me one second. Let's just go ahead and let's cue the intro. This journey, the last four years, almost five now, I guess you could say, getting closer to five years now, as a front-end developer, that is what I've been the last four to five years. I have been a front-end engineer, front-end developer, front-end software engineer, whatever you want to call it, that is who I am. That is what I love to do. I like to work with anything in regards to front-end development. The last four years, over four years, that I've been in this industry, in my career, I would have never thought that I would be at the position I'm in today. And I don't mean like, in social media. I never thought that I would be where I am now. It's crazy because every single year since I've become a developer, my life has gradually become better. My lifestyle, my life has elevated every single year. My pay has elevated every single year. And just the, the opportunities I have have continued to grow. And it, it's crazy to think that these kind of things keep happening to me because I'm literally, <laughs> saying the word literally again, I am literally documenting my journey as a developer. When I reach bad news in my life, what do I do? I make a video, like me getting laid off, right? When something great happens, I make a video, like me getting new jobs, which I've already, this is gonna be my third one now, or fourth one now. <laughs> when I go through stressful times, when I was going through some difficult times in my life, when I broke up in a relationship, I'll make all these videos literally documenting my entire journey these last few years. I shared everything with you. But the fact that I get to share this with you, to be at my dream job, Something that I've always wanted to be able to do for a living that I will be able to do now is absolutely amazing. You have to understand that my first few years as a developer, there were so many people doubting me, man. There were so many people looking down at me telling me that I will never succeed. And not even just that, as a developer, as someone who focused so much on YouTube and social media and growing my brand and everything, focusing on that more than code because I really believe in building a brand. Seeing a lot of my friends elevate faster than me in code learn more code, become better programmers because when I'm putting time on videos, on social media, and just other things that I'm doing, replying to comments, emails, direct messages, these people, what are they doing? They are learning code, <laughs> getting better. And so even though, yes, I'm learning code on my own and getting better, of course, they will elevate faster and people that I know making so much more money than me and all these different aspects, seeing them grow in the salary and everything so much faster than me, it was discouraging for me. But even though I saw all of that, one thing I made sure to do and stuck to was to do what made me happy. Do what I love. Something I talk about all the time. I love coding, but I like making YouTube videos. And I didn't want to say no YouTube and then yes code. I don't want to say yes YouTube and no code. I want to do both at the same time because this is what I'm passionate about. And this is what makes me happy. And I will continue to live this way until I can't live this way no more. And now just to see that the hard work that I put into everything to get to where I am today, to see everything come into fruition of what I hope to be able to do and actually surpass what I thought I could be able to do. Like seeing this come to fruition now, at this time, at this moment, after being laid off just seven months ago or six months ago from my job that I love so much in California to quitting my job just a few weeks ago and to be where I am now is absolutely amazing. And I want to thank you all for even following me in this journey. All right. So let me go ahead and tell you exactly what happened. So as you all know, I quit my job 
a couple weeks ago, a month ago actually to be exact. And of course when I did quit, I did make a tweet on Twitter saying I quit my job and I did it for my happiness, right? I did it for my mental health. And fortunately that tweet on Twitter got a lot of attention. And because of that one tweet on social media, what happened is that this one person who worked at this one company who doesn't know anything about me, my brand or at all, saw this tweet because so many people were retweeting. I think it got like a few thousand retweets. Saw that tweet, liked that tweet, sent me a direct message saying, Chris, we're hiring and we think we're a good fit. The fact that this all happened just because I put something on Twitter <laughs> is absolutely insane. So literally that's just what happened. I just put something on Twitter, it went viral. Someone saw it actually, because I put this message on Twitter, I already got a bunch of direct messages. I even put it on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, I got like 130,000 views on LinkedIn. A bunch of companies reached out to want to interview me. There are companies in California, in Seattle, Washington, companies at Amazon, so many different companies that reached out to me that wanted to at least give me a chance to work with them after hearing that I got laid off. And I have to honestly say, it's not because of YouTube that this opportunity came, but it is because of social media. It is because I built a brand. It is because I made a goal to build a presence, okay? So yes, I did get this job. But one thing I wanna include right now in this video is that the reason that I'm able to get more opportunities is because of my network. Literally just because of that. When I got laid off from Entrepreneur, I put a tweet out there. It got like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 6,000 retweets or something like that. And I was able to get two job offers in three days because of my network. Now, what I mean by that, man, and I generally believe this is something that every developer needs to do is that when you're becoming a developer, aspiring, or even if you're a developer now, I think everyone's goal should be to network. And not just LinkedIn, by the way. LinkedIn has not helped me get jobs at all. It's through literally social media. And so when I say building a network, why I think every developer needs to do that is because it's by building a network on social media, a brand, a presence on the internet, is how you bring more opportunities to yourself. It's because I took the time to build my brand because there's a wider audience. So let's say on Twitter, there's like 9,000 people follow me. Guess what? If 9,000 people like that post when I say I quit my job, that gives a chance for 9,000 more people or tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of more people to see that tweet that can possibly give me an opportunity. Now, I'm not saying that you need to have like big following on social media, but I think that what every aspiring developer and current developer needs to do is build a presence in your internet because I'm gonna tell you this, in the long run, down the line, it'll help bring so much more opportunities to your life. And I'm just saying because that is literally what happened to me on my last two jobs because of networking. And so anyway, I put this tweet up on Twitter. Someone from this awesome company reached out to me. When they told me what this job was about, I'm telling you in a second, I could not believe that this was a real job. I couldn't believe it was legit. But then I found out that this kind of job that I will be doing is actually a real thing, which is kind of insane. So that person reached out to me, he interviewed me. I did about four interviews, two weeks of interviews. I did a coding thing, coding tests. I met with the people who are up there in this big company, spoke with them. And fortunately they gave me a job offer after just four weeks. And now I'm not used to that. I'm used to like interviewing with really small companies where I usually get a job offer in a couple of days or a week at tops. So this process did take quite a while. There was a long list of things that had to be done before they can give me a job offer. And I ended up getting a job offer, which is really amazing. All right, so I know a lot of people wanna know this new company, now I can't show you my salary like I did my other jobs. I can't share my salary. I signed something where I can't share my salary, unfortunately, but that's totally fine. But I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna be paid more at this job than I did in all of my other jobs. I'll tell you this, that I'm gonna be paid more than I thought I ever could. And this is so awesome and perfect for me because when you get to be paid so well at something that you love to do, now when you're living your life, when you're taking care of like financial stuff, you don't have to worry about money, but you get to just go all in in what you love for that company, right? Or what you get to do for a living. And so they're paying me well enough to the point where I never have to worry about money. <laughs> Let me just get to say that. Secondly, a lot of you probably wanna know what I'll be doing. Well, yes, I will still be a developer. I am a developer, right? I'm an engineer. I will still be building things on a daily basis. Actually, one of the goals is that every quarter I'll be able to work on something that I wanna work on even if it's not related to my job, which is really exciting that you could do at a company. And aside from that, <laughs> one of the main things that I will be doing, okay, one of the main things that I will be doing is that I guess you could say I'll be able to teach code. I think that is the one thing I'm so excited about is that I can help people learn code for a living. That is what I will be able to do. And at the same time, okay, I will be able to document my journey, document my life doing this. Aside from that, I might be able to even travel. Uh, hopefully COVID ever goes down. 
Right, so that is what I will be doing my new job. Now, I did sign an agreement and I can't tell you my job title yet. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait until January. I can't tell you the name of the company because I signed something and that will also have to wait until January. But I'm gonna tell you this, this is a dream come true. Like really, what I'll be able to do and what I will be doing, it'll change my life. It's changing my life already and it'll change the life of my family when my parents won't ever have to worry. And I think that's one of the best things about this too. And one of the cooler things about this too is that this will allow me to do so many more things than I ever thought I could imagine. And I wanna share what this is with you and I can't yet and I'm so sorry about that, but this is my dream job. I am very fortunate to be able to get this job. Like I was nervous. Literally for three to four weeks, I was stressed out. I was barely able to get any sleep, like literally for three or four weeks because all I did every single day was think about this opportunity. So anyway, man, um, yeah, so that is my life. That is my new job. But other than that, other than yes, me getting a new job again. I know I didn't expect this would happen six months after getting my last job. One thing I wanna share with you guys is that I never expected to reach this point in my life. No one in my family expected it either. All right, well, I became a developer then. All right, Chris, well, you know, he'll become a developer, have a good living. Man, this opportunity is not something I ever thought could ever happen, but it happened because I never gave up. It happened because I kept going. It happened because I believed in myself and knew that as long as I know what I'm doing is right and is also best for me and my happiness, that in the end, things will work out. And I want to tell you that it'll be the same thing for you guys. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan. This is Lifeboat Developer. And I'm out. Peace.